if you think about the outcome and uh, started to, to, to see yourself in the outcome, you will find a, a huge of process how you can do it. And, and the outcome must be positive. And what we establish here is its environment. We said when we start, we said we are going to be uh, the central of all what you said about a kids' culture in Haifa. This is the only library. Uh, also, we have the Haifa University Library that you have books here in Arabic. This is the majority of the books, Arabic and Hebrew then, and English. And also the majority of people who participate here are Arabs. We are not talking about politics because when we start to talk about politics and rights, we are, we are, not, be, we are not going to be friends. And we, if you start to talk about them, something that they are in common, and your dream, my dream, and we can find a lot of things that so you look for the in the daily life, yes, in the daily mm -hmm. life we can we can we can talk about it and we can live it. Haifa, it's I think you cannot say it in Haifa. Maybe it's covered in Haifa because I want to tell you something because in Haifa there is a peaceful life here. Maybe because the, uh, uh, Moses wasn't here, Jesus wasn't here, and Muhammad wasn't here, because I can maybe, maybe, maybe it's funny. normal. Uh, second, funny. I can talk about economical reason in Haifa came over political reason. So people in Haifa, yes, you don't know, we have the golf here in Haifa, and there's a lot of factories in Haifa. I it's think true. this is I the goal. If, if, you, if you, we don't need an intifada in the West Bank, <laughs> Let's care about the economical situation in the, in the West Bank. The Jewish people and the Arab people, when I said Arab, it's Christian and Muslims, to meet and to meet each other about things that they are in common. And it's, it's, it's something, it's hard to do it, but you can do it by music, you can do it by culture, you can do it by dancing. And when we start to, to, to feel what each other, from the narrative, not from the facts, because about the facts, we are not going. There is no, no. You cannot talk about the facts. But to, to start to take the facts and take the narrative and personally stories and just just listen to it and you can feel it. Personal stories. Coexistence, yes, but peace is a state of mind and it can change any second. Anytime there is tension in our borders or from international pressure or press, you can feel it in Haifa in a second. The wadi is uh, getting, it's totally empty from Jewish visitors. When we had uh, car bombings and other incidents, it was empty for months. And it's a very delicate situation here that we try to we, we try to make life as fluid as possible because everybody lives together here. Haifa is a city that can show uh, the model of coexistence. It's a work in progress. I'll tell you the major one. We did a lot of work, okay? I think the major accomplishment is getting back to the acknowledge of the people of Haifa as a main institute that has the right and, 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 and ability and capability of, of doing things for Arab and Jews together. And, and getting over some stereotypes mostly the Arab society had about better Geffen. In December of 1994 or 93, the three main holidays of the main religions were all on December. Christmas, Hanukkah and Ramadan, the Muslim. So they said, why not celebrate together? And it starts over there for one week of artists going to, the, to put their uh, arts in the, in the streets or whatever, in the Mali Christmas. At the point, we are now having four full weekends, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, of festival that brings in about in the, uh, uh, around December, about over 200,000 people. You expect to see yourself, okay? And then when you know you see me and I don't see you. So this is really about learn to know that you are not the only one in the world. You are artists.
logging in, logging out her identity as a woman in traditional women, a woman in traditional society. Yeah. So she really fighting her. Exiting the home, like it's symbolic. It's very. Brothers, my brothers, my um, all of uh, all of places we've been, and I just did. I am trying to do uh, my 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 life story about my life story in comics. What will my dad or what will my brother will say in this picture if I if I took picture of him? Uh, like um, my brothers, how, how what would they say in these pictures or something? Right, so tell me one, show me one, like, like this one, what, what did you say here? Um, I, I'm not sure who's eating whom, the ice cream is eating my brother, and my, <laughs> and my, the brother is eating my, my ice Right, because the comb. I'm, do, I'm making uh, my hobbies, I'll, I'm a drummer and a, a judo player, and my dream is to fly out to Israel and learn, uh, and learn uh, medicine. And I want to be doctor or professor. Talk about, you said you do karate. Can I see some of, of your pages? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, and I'm a drummer. That's quite a drum set. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I... Uh, I... Uh, drawing a... Uh, to story that I called uh, her the end. The end. Yes. It's the end of the world. Uh, it's like it's so exciting. Yes. I'm doing a project about how I did this project. So you drew everything. All the black and white pictures. Right. And this is you, this girl, Scan 15. Supposed to be, yeah. And so what? What? Tell us your plot. Okay. So. Actually, it's how I manage my problems. Uh, I have a problem because I have a crazy deadline and no ideas. So one of my characters from my other comic uh, comes out and helps me. The project is a comic about a group, a research group that was sent out to explore this planet, but they ended up crashing. And so now, they have a rescue team sent out to them, but the captain from the rescue team thinks they're hostile aliens. And oh, okay. And then these are your, also your original photos. Yeah. Which it's are original artwork original. done by coming out. Uh, Mustafa Kardan, uh, 50 years old. Okay, so tell me about your comic. Uh, it talks about me in the past, like uh, when I was fat. And uh, talks. Uh, 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 how did I change from year to year, from school to school? And uh, I did uh, some good work, and it's very funny. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of characters in it, but basically me. Okay, yeah, let me just look at the, the cover here. And that's you uh, through elementary school, right? Elementary, elementary, junior high, uh, high school. Okay, that's you, Jan. Thank you. <laughs> I'm making a comic about my life, about uh, an incident that I had when I uh, was running. I tripped uh, by on a rock and I fell. It was really nasty. Uh, I couldn't do nothing uh, for about, uh, I think, four months. It was really bad. I, I loved, I enjoyed playing my guitar, uh, my guitar, and I had lots of shows. But uh, uh, because of this injury, I couldn't do nothing. Uh, so my life changed after this incident, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm making uh, Yes, nine years old, and this is my comic. Wow. And what's it about? It's 
about me and uh, my friends. Oh, can I see it? It's uh, very short. That's uh, okay. Yeah? And these are all your friends, huh? Mm -hmm. Aww. Did you have fun, Elise? Yes. Yes, okay, good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm going to miss you. Bye. Shalom, Ebenu Shalom, Ebenu Shalom, Shalom Aleichem.